Hey guys, this is Superfly Todd, and this is Let's Play EverQuest. This is our wizard on the Fain of A server. Uh, this is episode number four. So uh, we're left. We last left off. We were in this uh, little cave system here in Crescent Reach. Uh, Going to kill some of these guys and uh, work on our experience. So we are at level ten, and let's get going. Well, what's uh, not delay? Let's get going on this stuff. We want to get going so that uh, somebody else doesn't come in this cave and start killing our mobs for us. That would not be good. There we go. Look at it. We got an AUG, too. Uh, we'll take a look at that AUG real fast. It is... Where is it at? It is level 20, which can't use it yet, uh, but it has intelligence on it, so we'll definitely hold on to that for a little bit. Okay, yes. Oh, this way it didn't take uh, very much damage. So. Okay. All right. So let's try to power through some levels today, guys. Let's try to knock out, uh, I don't know, let's try to get to level 15. Yeah, I think it's a good number to try to reach. We can knock that out pretty fast here. Get out of this kind of starting zone so we can start getting, uh, some, earning some more money and some better loot and uh, just exploring some of the other parts of EverQuest. So, right on. You know, we get up close to our level 20, we can start doing our dailies. Remember, we still have a couple empty spots, or empty spots that we need to try to fill with some gear. Um, you know, looking at our stats, we're sitting at uh, 218, but by the time we fill up some of these spots, we'll be pretty close to that soft cap, which uh, will make leveling much easier. All right, let's keep killing these guys. I don't think anybody's in here killing, so it's good for us. It means more experience for us. We'll only stay here until level 11, and then we're going to go to the next cave over, which is going to have a bunch of uh, cats inside there. Look at this. We found uh, it's an AC1 Dex Aug. We'll loot it. You know, for a wizard, Dex is really not that important, uh, but we'll just hold on to it. No read in de destroying it right now. Where are we sitting at? We're about halfway through this little tin. And when we get over to the next cave, I'm going to go ahead and burn my lessons. Oh, we got some uh, boots, some worn boots. Uh, I'll burn my lessons and pop a, a steady fast servant um, to uh, help the experience. So we'll burn that here. Don't want to burn it in this cave. Rather wait for the next one. See, we got uh, electric shield, and we have our we have eleven minutes left on our our buffs there. Jump on up here. Let's kill these guys. What would do? Hey, a necklace. Yeah. It's all right. We have a better necklace, so I'm not going to worry about swapping that out. Uh, I should have picked up some mana pots when we were in Plane of Knowledge last time. So uh, next time we go back up there, either to sell or next time we go up there, we're definitely going to pick up some of those mana pots. That's it. 
I'm not confused, right? That's the end of the cave. I'm not sure which side we went down. There was a split. We got one right here, too. Here we go. Kill this guy. Yeah. Oh, our one hundred blunt is uh, not going up so high. <laughs> we're only at level nine. So, well, we won't be meleeing too much as a pure caster. That's just uh, we'll work on our spells. But uh, you know, being kind of a, a, a squishy noob right now, we're gonna we'll get a little extra damage in. Try to work on our skill up here a little bit. Let our mercenary do most of the damage. Getting lots of those eyeballs. Okay. So close to level 11. gonna med up for just one sec here while we do this i'm gonna pause the video flip over just check to see what our level 11 spells are gonna be one sec okay guys we're back i just uh popped over really fast uh nothing really great for a level 11 so we uh don't have to worry about blowing some money we're just gonna go ahead and save it and we'll power on through uh level 11 try to get to 12 here literally just a couple kills away like I said, we'll stay here for, until we level, and then we'll go over to the next cave. Oh, I think I was casting the wrong spell. Yeah, that was kind of a waste of some mana. It's okay, though. It's okay. Nope, this, is, this guy has no experience. So we will just let. Oh, we got some arms. All right. We're outside the cave now. There's plenty for us to kill over here as we make our way to the next cave, too. Da -da -da. We'll kill, kill a few things here. Just make sure that that uh, I want to make sure the bound the sound volume was not too uh, too great. Uh, I got some a group of guys out here. I don't know if they were in the cave or what they're doing here. C could be all like uh, somebody multi boxing, so I'm not sure. Look at that. There we go. We hit our level. Right on. This is the next cave we're going to go into. For now, we'll just kind of hang out here. Med up real fast. Just so you don't have to waste your time, I'll pause the video, come back after I've med it up, and we enter the cave. Okay, guys. I decided to pop back. We have quite a bit of inventory on us right now. We're going to go ahead and gate back. Get those mana pots so we don't have to sit around and waste time metting up a lot. So let's go do that really fast. What, again, one of the good benefits of being in the plane of knowledge zone is that your uh, buff timers will not expire. They uh, kind of freezes time for them. So as we port here. Do, 
do do come on there we go we'll sell clear out some inventory here make a couple uh couple little plat oh those are not worth anything all that armor we found down there worth some money which is good. We can use that. Still can't sell that. Done. We'll take these. Destroy them. We don't need them. Perfect. Let's cast uh, our sew. We're going to cast our shield. There we go. Show you where we buy those mana pots. Uh, if you haven't ever been up here, I'll show you where you can get them. You can get all different types of buff uh, pots that you, you basically drink, and it gives you a buff uh, for 30 minutes. I'll show you where they're at. You know, if you're a melee, you might want uh, spike shield. Casters, healers would want mana pots. Uh, there's also, so I think, some soap pots. I don't know if you can buy the soap pots, but there's all different types of stuff that you can buy. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Somebody has got a song singing. Let's take a look here. Right up here. And there's different strengths of mana pots. So, Clarity 1, 2, and 3. I would love to buy these ones are a 1.7 plat for now we'll just buy 20 of the uh, level twos so we'll take those put them over here set that up as a quick button drink it there you go we got 30 minutes of clarity probably like I said we should have done that earlier uh, it just would have been a little bit more convenient. Uh, wouldn't have to pause the video as much, but oh well. Try to keep uh, the, the, the boredness uh, to a minimum for you guys. We'll sit here because I'm not sure what uh, song that Bard is singing, but it looks like it's area effect. Maybe I'm too low for it to take a... Here, you know what? We can actually go and see here. Songs. Thought. Dun, dun. I think thought we could see uh, what songs were being sung du, du, du. oh I'd love to get a mount love to get a mount for this tune guys eh, I don't see it I was gonna try to turn that on might be a mana regeneration song so we're already at 45 48 percent our meditation is still going up. I think we're still a little bit behind on our meditation skills. Yeah, we're right. We're fully, we're 100% there. So, give it another second here. 57%. Oh, somebody gave us a mana rod. We can click it. Oh, I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think we're the uh, level to be able to use this mana rod. So, yeah, we'll delete that. Be great if somebody cast some so on me instead of my so buff. Uh, I would love to have that. Last a little bit longer. I think it's faster, too. So, all right, we're at 71%. We'll take off. Let's go. With clarity, our, our um, mana will regen even while running. So, as you saw, it was at 71. I started running. Now we're at 72. Seventy-three. All right. So it's going up. Jump down. I forgot what helmet do I have? I have oh, I have a gloom and deep. All right, we'll be swapping a lot of that gear out here. 
So just to let you know that the crude armor is good up to about level 10. Uh, then you really want to start looking at some like uh, simple armor. Simple armor you know, goes up to like a level 20. Uh, at 15, then we can actually start looking at rough armor. Rough armor starts at 15, goes to 30. Uh, we're pretty close to that, and then we'll start gathering some, some rough armor. Oops. Got a little, little lag there. So we'll run back here. We'll go back to that cave that we we're going to go to with the uh, cats. Lions, cats, whatever they were. Still got our mercenary. Doo -doo -doo. Dead corpse. We'll hide corpses there. Again, I always kind of click that just kind of clear out the dead stuff that other people kill. Especially in these types of zones where everybody's killing so fast and some people aren't looting stuff. Some being, they're just leaving corpses on the ground. I always do that just to kind of clear out the lag. Pumas. Maybe they're Pumas. Because these ones out here are Pumas, so maybe that's what it is. And that group is still sitting out there. Alright, guys. Let's go in. Let's start here. So we'll start killing some Pumas. These guys are blue, so... Let's go ahead and pop our lessons. And pop our steady fast. These are veterans re rewards. You'll see the uh, steadfast kind of does, uh, it will heal me. He also will give me some uh, mana regeneration buffs, but I already clicked a pot, so we're fine. His buffs only last about 15 minutes, so I got 28 minutes left on mine. But you'll see with the experience buff, we have 30 minutes on that. And so we'll be able to get, uh, we'll power through a couple levels with that. Good deal. And we got this guy right here. Look at uh, Dalar got a, uh, since we last logged on, he's got a goatee. Doesn't match the, uh, his hair, so wonder it makes me wonder if he uh, dyes his hair. All right, so let's go to this guy. Our one-handed blunt's uh, going up, though. We're still quite a ways away from having that maxed out, though. So I don't know how many people play on live or how many people are doing in some of the other uh, EverQuest mods. You know, there's uh, Imperium, I think, is one. There's also the P90 or P90 or P99, sorry. There's also P2002. There's also uh, Easy Server. You know, there's, there's lots of different personal modded servers out there. Don't know how many people play those. You know, some of those older ones are pretty cool because it gives you that nostalgia of the original EverQuest. Um... I, I like it from that fact because it's a good flashback, but the downfall is some of the some of the game was pretty hard back then. Meaning, you know, the experience grinding, uh, it, just getting through things was was tough. And with the new live, they took a lot of that away and made it a little bit easier. So I've kind of grown accustomed to that. Uh, but I miss the old feel, definitely. So I, I still have accounts on on P thousand two thousand two. Take a look at this, guys. We got a cloth sand, uh, sorry, crude sandals. Uh, we already have gloom and deep. These are very comparable. I think their stats almost match up stat for stat. Uh, so we don't need it. Uh, we don't need a no drop either. 
so like I said, I, I still have those accounts. I like them. I play them. Uh, just not very often. On P99, I'm not a uh, max character on that either. I'm only sitting at like 48 or something like that. So, uh, oh, we're going to be losing one of our buffs. So, just FYI. But, I you know, if you guys are interested in playing live and on the Fate of A server, you want to give me a shout out, feel free to do so. Uh, I love meeting new people, love hanging out. We're going to be looking for a guild. So if somebody's got a guild that uh, is, re is taking new members, uh, let me know. I think that would be cool. And that might be something we may be able to, to uh, do some experience grinding together. So. so we killed a couple Pumas now. So look at we're more than halfway. More than halfway to level 12. So let's clear those corpse again. Come on. Come on, go go jet gadget kill. As, as we fur go further back here into the cave, you're gonna start seeing some of these Pumas get uh, a little bit higher level too, so. Ding, level 12. Right on, guys. Get up to level 15, we can start trying to look for some of that rough armor. So, we might be able to get some at the bazaar or uh, just find somebody just selling it. All right. I'm going to pause real fast. Let this guy med up. Try to get some of our health pillings back really fast. Check our level 12 spells. Be right back. Okay, guys. We're back. So, the level 12 spells are going to be um, area effect spells. Um, since we don't plan on kiting around with this character uh, because they, they pretty much nerfed that. That's not really an option uh, for... Like the way people used to be able to do with wizards and stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to uh, ignore those spells and, and continue on. Move on to 13. So we have our, our experience buff going. So we don't want to waste that either. So, Matter of fact, we're getting kind of low on our hit, hit points. We'll use one of our heal pots that we got during the tutorial. This will be the last level we stay in this zone. We're gonna go move over to the next next cave, which is gonna have bears in it. The bears, I think, are uh, the better cave. I, I think the amount of experience you get off of the bears is gonna be uh, way better than what we see on these pumas. Oh. 
But the respawn here is just sick. They're so fast. Look at that. We just leveled and we're already 40% in with our experience buff going. So definitely nice to have those. So we're 60%, 70%, 68% into the level already. And our mercenary, mercenary is now costing us 5 gold for every 15 minutes. So again, he's a level uh, journeyman. He's a journeyman level 1. Got some boots. Yeah, can't wear those. We also got some gloves. These are leather. Being a caster, we can only wear cloth. So we're looking for just the cloth armor. And we're probably one or two kills away from level and again. Oh, look at that. We got a um, monk crude item. Some hands items. Right on. Don't have a monk though, so again, we're only looking for the cloth stuff. Level 13, guys. We're going to be leaving this cave. And just going to the next cave. One over. Oh, look at that. I took a wrong turn. How did I do that? Let's see. How did I get messed up? Good. We took a wrong turn. Got it, there we go. That group's gone. Maybe they moved over to the bears, so we're gonna find out here. Bears kind of a trickier spot. You know, if you look for this cave, sometimes if you haven't ever been there before, you actually gotta go through the water here, follow this thing, and then right over here, there's kind of the secret entrance where the bears are. And as we see, this bear is white. So we will got to be careful with the aggro on these. So we'll let our mercenary, Dala, get some aggro on this guy before we actually start nuking him down. So we're sitting at 81%. We, can, we get down to about 70%. We'll start uh, nuking this guy. Oh, we jumped up to 102% on aggro. Let it go back down. Let Dalar get it. That bear was just walking right in front of us. 
86%. We give one more big nuke here. There we go, guys. And we'll see from the experience from that, that was full yellow. Just off of one bear. So uh, we're loving this. We're going to med up here. Well, with that said, that has uh, been 30 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video right now. So we start off at level 10. We're finished off at level 13. Uh, we're going to go and uh, the next video continue this cave. Probably stay here to level 15 and then uh, move out and start killing some of the undead. Well, I appreciate you guys listening. Thanks. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more of these, hit the follow button. I appreciate it. You can also find me on Twitch. I uh, stream live on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. to, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot, 5 to 9 p.m. Uh, I also stream on Thursdays, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And Saturdays, 5 to 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, again, follow me on Twitch on Superfly Todd. Or uh, continue to keep looking out for more videos. We're going to be doing some more Let's Plays of some other games. Maybe Desert Sky. That's when I want to really start. So I appreciate it, guys. Until next time, thanks a lot.